reacting today to big changes when it comes to COVID-19 and masks. Well, yesterday, a federal judge in Florida struck down the national mask mandate on airplanes and mass transit. Masks are no longer required for riders on SEPTA and Amtrak as well. But masks are still required inside of Philadelphia International Airport because Philadelphia reinstituted its mask mandate yesterday. Eyewitness News reporter Rosti Matei found there was lots of confusion at the airport this morning. Slight chaos and a lot of confusion is how I would describe the implementation of the relaxed mask rules overnight. Here at the airport, all riders are supposed to continue wearing the mask until they get on board their flight, but that hasn't always been happening. Despite signs and announcements around the airport, there were more maskless faces inside of Philadelphia International Airport today than at any other point since the start of the pandemic. Somebody doesn't want to wear a mask, it's not going to bother me at all. I think there's some fatigue. I think there's some debate about whether or not the masks, especially those little cloth masks, they don't do anything. A federal judge struck down the nationwide mask mandate on Monday night, making them optional on public trains, planes, and buses. And while most major airlines are leaving it up to passengers to decide whether to wear a mask while flying, PHL is asking passengers to continue wearing face coverings inside airport terminals. The conflicting policies are creating confusion for travelers. It just doesn't seem to make any sense. You have one policy and a different policy, and they keep going back and forth. It's going to change. Sometimes we have to wear them, sometimes we don't. We don't. But I hate to have us. We're so spoiled. You have people fighting in Ukraine, and we can't put a mask on. One thing you worry about is, you know, is there a good filtration systems on the plane? And the second thing is, nobody wants to get sick. But, you know, you got to protect yourself and all since we're still in the middle of this pandemic. The rules are even more relaxed at SEPTA stations and concourses and onboard SEPTA, Amtrak, and New Jersey transit vehicles, where masking is now encouraged but not required. I'm going to protect myself. And it's up to people to do whatever it is that they feel is right. You know, uh, like when you're in a boxing ring and they say protect yourself at all times, that's my motto. <laughs> Reporting at Philadelphia International Airport, Ross DiMatteo, CBS3 Eyewitness News.